the most brilliant design I have ever seen in my 40 years in this business is the FPGA card and the zone map. Field, programmable, gate array. That means when a query is written such as select everything from the orders where the order total is less than 300, that less than 300 order total is written to the field programmable gate array. And then each SPU has got that right on their FPGA. And so before they move their blocks for this orders table in, they say to themselves, move in that blocks zone map. That zone map will list the min and max values for each one of those columns that are non-character. So as it looks at this block, and I have color-coded the min and max values for your convenience, the zone map is placed in there. And they go, should we really read this block? Is there something where an order total is less than 300? And they go, well, the min is 231, and the max is 12,000 something. There's data in here that's going to qualify. We'll bring this block in. But there's a ton of spoos that look at this same thing and say, doesn't fall within the min max. I don't need the block movement. That's always the Achilles heel, moving the blocks from disk into memory. And that's what Natiza does better than anybody in the world. Eliminates the need to move blocks that aren't going to qualify. You see, Natiza knows where the data is not. When you're loading to a normal Natiza table with NZ load, you don't order the data. You give it a distribution key, but you don't order the data. That's what's so beautiful about a CTOS table is that as you can see here, I'm creating a table, order CTOS date, I called it, as select everything from order table order by order date. So what this does is it actually reloads the table to the new table, but now the data is sorted on each SPU by the order date. So if this is a large table and has many extents, each extent, three megabytes, is going to have a zone map on it, you'll see, oh, the January data on each SPU is right here. Oh, the February data is in the next block. The March data is here. And this ordering is what is so wonderful about the zone mapping. Now, each one of these zone maps is, yeah, I've got January data, February data, March data. So when we run our query saying, where's our January data? 11 out of 12 blocks are removed on each SPU. And this is so much faster. That's why you create a CTOS to get the data ordered so the zone maps can really get the tightest min and max for important columns. I am setting you up here for what we're about to see in a few minutes, cluster-based tables. But I want you to notice here, we've got a benefit here of a CTOS that we can order it, but we've got multiple keys in our sort. As you can see here, we've got Depno as the major sort. So the first thing is that all of the data is going to be sorted by Depno. And on any department number ties, then it's going to go to last name. That's a major sort and a minor sort. The major sort will get most of the benefit when we're dealing with the zone maps. Minor sort, not so much. Multiple columns in the minor sort, less and less as time goes on. So we're going to see another technique if we want multiple columns to really have the same power in the zone maps, we're going to create a cluster-based table. We'll see that coming up. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.